Hey everyone, today I'm diving into an important health topic, bladder cancer. Whether you're a health enthusiast or just curious, understanding this condition can make a huge difference. First off, what are the risk factors? Smoking is a big one. It's linked to about half of bladder cancer cases. Then there's exposure to certain chemicals often found in industrial jobs like rubber, leather and dye industries. Age is also a factor with most cases occurring in people over 55. And let's not forget family history. Now onto the warning signs. The most common symptom is blood in the urine, which might appear pink, red or cola colored. Frequent urination, pain during urination and back pain can also be signs. If you notice any of these, don't ignore them. See a doctor as soon as possible. So, how is bladder cancer diagnosed? Doctors often start with a urine test to check for cancer cells. They may also perform a cystoscopy, where a thin tube with a camera is inserted into the bladder. Imaging tests like CT scans and MRIs can help too. Early detection is crucial, so regular checkups are vital, especially if you're at higher risk. When it comes to treatment, there are several options. Surgery is common, and depending on the stage, it might involve removing the tumour or the bladder itself. There's also chemotherapy, which can be administered before or after surgery to shrink tumours or kill remaining cancer cells. Immunotherapy, which helps your immune system fight the cancer, and radiation therapy are other options. Each case is unique, so treatment plans are tailored to the individual. Now, how can you lower your risk? If you smoke, quitting is the best thing you can do. Also, limit exposure to harmful chemicals and maintain a healthy lifestyle with diet and exercise. Keep hydrated, as drinking plenty of water can help flush out toxins. Knowledge is power, and being informed is the first step to prevention and early detection. Thanks for tuning in, and take care of your health. Stay healthy, everyone.